So in a departure from what I'd normally be doing, let me tell you about something really cool that I was able to set up for my Mac. So a lot of you have heard of uh, DeepMind, uh, which was bought by Google, you know, training an agent that plays all kinds of different games with a intelligent system. So let me just show you like little components of it, and, and this is something you can run on your Mac. So first of all, the cool uh, setup for Atari is something called the Arcade Learning Environment. You know, it's some folks from University of Alberta who set up the system that runs on just about any platform where you can play games, uh, program simple agents for them, and even uh, do really interesting things like reinforcement learning. So the first component of the system is something called Stella, which is like a cross-platform emulator for old Atari games. So let me show you how it works. All right, so here, let's play some Space Invaders. All right, let's get going. Start a game. It gives me th three lives. Yep. So, so you can sort of see how it's running, you know. All right, last chance. All right. All right, and that's game over. So, as you as uh, you can sort of see, or maybe not, there's three actions here. I can move left, right, and fire. Okay. So, you know that's fine. But what's really cool is that you can run this from the command line, with um, with the arcade learning environment. So. First, what I did is I compiled uh, I compiled the binary just with make. Um, had to make a few had to make a few changes uh, to get it to work in my Mac. I'll, I'll I'll show you that in a second. But basically, you know, here's just the basic thing. It's running it internally. So this is actually this is actually going to run uh, Stella, as you can see. But it's just uh, it's just running an agent, seeing how the game goes and uh, recording the score. So I think already pretty cool, you know, and you can take this engine and you can hook it up to your algorithm. Right now, as you can see, as you can see, I put it in the random agent, which takes random actions. In this case, it means moves left, moves right, and fire sort of randomly. In other games, there's more actions, so that's maybe a little bit more interesting. You can imagine randomly walking around the board, that sort of thing. Um, so this is pretty cool. Yeah. So this took a little bit of finagling on my part. Um, you can sort of see these hacks here. I had to download some packages with, uh, it's called SDL, which is a, um, what does it stand for? Simple Direct Media Layer. Um, so that's no longer really supported for Mac. I had to download with Homebrew. I probably could have linked it better, but you know, it is what it is. And if you put that in, just kill this guy, almost done. So if you sort of compile that into your system, then what you can do is really cool, which is take that same sort of random agent and you can, you can watch him play. So see, I'm not doing anything. I'm not pressing any buttons. So what I did here actually is I didn't put in quite a random agent. The random agent just moves left and right. It's kind of boring. Um, Instead, I skipped to forward to something I thought was a little bit more interesting, which is you see it's, it's actually a, an agent that takes a random action right here uh, two-thirds of the time. And the rest of the time, it's moving right. So you can sort of see that, right? That the, uh, that, that the agent is, is slowly moving to the right and sort of firing randomly and sometimes moves a little bit to the left. And you can already see that, like, I could have, you know, in C++, I could have coded up an agent that does something like, you know, sees the environment and, you know, either hard code sort of stays below one of those protectors and sort of dips out or, you know, knows it gets to the edge and turns around or something. I mean, you know, that's what I kind of like about Space Invaders is you can sort of imagine really simple strategies that might be worth trying. And then you can run it. You can, you know, add an epsilon and just have it take random legal actions. You can do things like record the screen and it'll save the frames. It's, it's, it's pretty amazing, actually. And, and this will work on any Atari game for which you download the ROM. So, so check this out. You can, um, 
You can play it. And you can play Breakout. So yeah, so here I just coded up an, an agent that's randomly taking an, an action, which in the case of Breakout is literally just moving left and right 20% of the time, and the other time it stands still. Um, you know, I can also do things like speed up this agent. So I can, here I can, I can have it skip a couple of frames, so it'll move a little bit faster, and I'll, I'll have it take more actions. So it's going to move randomly left and right most of the time, and just stand still 20% of the time. Yeah, so you can sort of see, and occasionally he'll get lucky and hit the ball at a, at a good angle. Oh, almost did it that time. And you can, you know, and what's nice about this is you can already imagine how with a pretty simple, it's a pretty simple algorithm if you can just interact with the screen or somehow time the ball or, you know, just um, process the image and look for the ball, you could have the agent sort of adjust to it or something, um, which would be very cool. Now, of course, you know, the, the DeepMind uh, folks did something much more interesting than that, which is to process these frames and uh, train a, a, a deep neural network to play, to play each of these games individually without knowing anything about the rules or anything like that. All they're doing is they're, is they're simply recording the score of the game. So in, this, in the case of the bricks, you just, you know, the score is just how many bricks you hit, right? You can sort of see that filing in, sort of a one brick, two bricks, zero bricks. And, and that's basically it. So um, just wanted to show you because it was a little bit difficult for me how to set this up on the Mac and, and some of the stuff you can get immediately, you know, without doing even any of the cool things like compiling your own agent or hooking it up to um, so a reinforcement learning codec or anything like that. So um, try it for yourself. It's really, it's really pretty fun. Thank you.